Hi everyone. Let's solve this gate exam question. This is gate 1994. State true or false. A finite state machine can be designed to add two integers of any arbitrary length, arbitrary number of digits. So can we design a machine, a finite state machine for adding two numbers? Okay. So can we do that? So for example, if two binary numbers are given to you, okay, so two integers are given in binary format. Let us assume in binary format they have given to us. So for example, if one number is 0, 0, okay, this is one number. And let us assume another number is I want to add to this number. I want to add, let's assume what I want to add is 100. Zero, zero. Okay, then can I do this? Okay, so can I can I write, can I create a finite state machine? Finite state machine, I told you. What is a finite state machine? It is any machine in which we have finite number of states and there is no additional memory. Okay, so this is any, uh, basically this is anything, anything uh, which has finite number of states and without additional memory. For example, some examples you know, okay, like your DFA, that is a finite state machine, NFA is a finite state machine, this Mili machine, this is a finite state machine, this Mure machine, this is a finite state machine, okay, and there are many others, like sequence circuit, sequence circuit is also finite state machine, okay. So all these are basically finite state machines. Okay. Now, can we create a sequence of circuit? Can we create Mille machine, Mure machine to add two numbers? So this is the question. Remember? Okay. Remember, I told you that these, these are language acceptors and these are transducers. Okay. So this we have already seen. So this we already know that this GFA and NFA, these are basically automata. Automata means they will accept language. And this Mille machine, Mure machine, sequence of circuit, these are transducers means they will compute some function. So in these machines, you give some input and they will give you some output. In these machines, you give some input and they will tell you whether that input is accepted or not. So these machines will tell you yes or no. And these machines will tell you output. So give some input, they will give you some output. Okay. What we want, we want that, okay, two integers are given to us. Let us assume in the binary format, if two integers are given to us, then we want to add them. Okay. So we want to do their addition. Can we do this using Mille machine, Mure machine, basically, or, or I can say sequence circuit. Can, can we do this? The answer is yes. We can very easily design Mille machine, Mure machine and sequence circuit. All these three we can design for adding two numbers. Okay. So let's design finite state machine. Let's design this finite state machine for adding two numbers. So for example, if you have two numbers like here, okay, like, okay, if, if you have these two numbers and you want to add them, then the first step is what you do. First of all, you read the, in, okay, you read the input in pairs. Okay. The first step is this, what you do that first of all, you put these extra zeros. This is the first step. Just put extra zeros. Okay. Means, okay. Means, okay. Number of digits must be same. So just make number of digits equal to same because you can notice here this has five digits, this has three digits. So very simple thing you can do, just put zero zero. Okay. Now what you do? The second step. Okay. We do the addition from right to left. Okay. So the addition we do from right to left. So what you do? You do the addition from right to left. Okay. And also what you do in every step, you read two things. Okay. So these two things you read. So zero, zero plus zero, the output should be zero. Okay. In the next step, you read one plus zero output should be one. Okay. In the next step, you read zero plus one. That is output is one. Okay. In the next step, okay. Zero plus zero, that output is zero. And then you can notice, okay. One plus zero output is one. So like this. So this is the point you can notice. Let's see another example. For example, if you have this one, 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 okay. Zero. And let's assume you have one, uh, one, zero, one. Okay. So let's assume you have this scenario. Okay. Or maybe one, one, zero. 111. One. Okay. So let's see what will be their addition. So first of all, what you do number of digits, digits, you make one. Okay. So here number of bits is four here. Number of bits is three. So first you put this zero. Now what you do now just, okay. Just, okay. You read the input from left to right. And every time you read these two bits, okay. One bit of this number, one bit of this number. Okay. So every time you read these two bits. Okay. So from right to left, you read and you read these two bits. Now zero plus one, the answer is one. Okay. Then what you do? Then you read these two. One plus one. Okay. The answer is the sum. This is, this is the addition. This is your sum. Okay. So you can notice here one plus one. So here the sum will be zero. Okay. And there will be carry here. I can say there is a carry here. Okay. So there is a carry here. There is a carry here. Now you can notice this one plus one and there is a carry one. Remember there is a carry. Okay. So one plus one and there is a carry. There is a carry. So finally it will be one. Okay. Again, there will be a carry. Okay. And finally you can notice this. Okay. This one plus zero. Okay. There is a carry. So you put, okay, zero and there will be one here. Okay. So this is the idea. 
so this is how you can do addition of two numbers okay now let's make a milli machine for this okay now <clears throat> so you can notice here you can notice one thing first of all either the carry is zero or the carry is one so initially you can notice when you are reading when you are reading then initially the carry is what the carry is a zero okay initially the carry is zero so let me write like this here we have carry zero when the carry is zero then very simple that okay if input is zero comma zero if this is your input zero comma zero then the output should be zero if the input is zero comma one then the output should be one if the input is one comma zero then the output should be one correct when carry is zero now you can notice if the input is one one when carry is zero and input is one one then what should happen when the carry is zero and input is one one then uh, okay then the sum should be okay the sum will be zero but now carry will be one okay so sum will be zero and the carry will be one so this is the idea okay let me create a table so that it, this becomes clear so you can notice these are the two numbers a comma b okay and if these are zero zero then what is your sum and what is your carry so you can notice okay let's see now if you have zero zero then sum will be what the sum will be zero and the carry will be zero here the sum will be one here the sum will be one one plus one sum will be zero okay and here carry will be what here zero zero and here carry will be one okay so this is the situation when you are adding two numbers so this is actually the half adder okay this we have already seen what is a half adder what is a full adder so okay so here you have two numbers and when you add these two numbers only two bits basically okay so this half adder what it means it means this will add two bits only okay add two bits add two okay bits okay now similarly you have something called full adder full adder means that will add two multi-bit number okay so there is something called full adder in this full adder what we have very simple that if we have okay this bit this bit and what is the carry input what is the carry input okay so this also we have now what is the sum and what is the c out means carry out okay so you can notice if these numbers are zero zero and the carry is a zero and the carry is also zero now you can notice sum will be zero and carry will be zero if these two numbers are 0 1 and carry is 0 then sum will be 1 and carry will be 0 if these two bits are 0 1 and the carry is 1 then what will happen then the sum will be 0 and the carry will be 1 if the carry is 1 and these numbers are 1 1 then the sum will be 1 and the carry will be 1 if these two numbers are 1 0 and the carry is 1 then the sum will be 0 and the carry will be 1 okay like this you can do so this is the equation this is the full adder in this full adder what we do we add to multi bit number basically okay here we have these two bits and we have also carry input okay what is the carry input that is coming what is the carry input like this is a this is b this is the carry input and this is the carry output okay this is the carry output and this is your sum okay now let's make here so you can notice when carry is zero then very simple if input is zero zero output will be zero if input is zero one summation will be one if input is one zero summation will be one if input is 1 1 then summation will be 0 and carry will be 1 now carry will become 1 now when carry is 1 then you can notice when the carry is 1 then what will happen then in this situation what will happen that if the input is 0 1 okay then summation will be 0 okay if the input is 1 0 then the summation will be 0 if the input is 1 1 then summation will be 1 and carry will be 1 but if input is 0 0 if the input is 0 0 then carry will become 0 and the summation will become 1 okay so this is your melee machine you can notice very simply okay this is the melee machine for adding two integers okay so using this machine you can very easily add two numbers okay now let's see how it will work for okay by taking one example so let me take this example let's assume you have this number okay and also you have this number so let's assume this is your okay so you want to add this number let's call it let's call it number a let's call it number b okay and you want to add a plus b so you can notice what will the, what should be the output the output should be one okay because here the carry input is zero there is no carry here okay there is no carry so zero plus one that is one okay one plus one okay so that will be zero and there will be carry here now the this is your carry you can notice okay here this is your carry okay so the carry will be one now here summation will be one and carry will be one here you can notice the summation will be zero but the carry will be one here the summation will be zero but the okay so actually answer should be what okay if you add these two numbers if you add these two numbers then you can notice 
okay you what you can do first of all you can put this zero zero first of all you put these additional zero so that both these numbers have equal number of bits so this is the first step you put extra zero so that so that these two have equal number of equal number of bits now there is one more problem what is that one more problem okay this melee machine what this melee machine when you run this melee machine for this example then what will happen let's check it out okay what this melee machine is going to do this is what is actual okay so this is actual this is actual okay and for these two okay for these two numbers one 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 okay one zero and this is one 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 okay so just put zero zero extra just put these extra zero zero here now let's add them let's add them using using melee machine using previous melee machine so what will be the answer okay so the melee machine what it will do it will read the inputs from left uh, from right to left okay first it will read zero one and right now carry is zero initially carry is zero okay so it will read zero one it will read zero one so summation will be one okay so what this uh, what this okay so what will be the output of this melee machine so it will print one then now you can notice now it will add one one now when it adds one one then the summation will be zero and carry will become one okay so the summation will be zero now the carry has become one now you are in the carry one state now what you will do one one now in this carry one state what you will do you will add one one okay then summation is one and carry also will be one okay now also carry will be one now in this in this state in this carry one state what you are doing you are adding one plus zero. you are adding one plus zero then summation will be zero but the carry will be one okay so here carry will be one again what you are doing in this carry one state in this carry one state you are adding one zero then summation will be zero but the carry will be one okay so the summation will be zero carry will be one okay now you can notice we are getting this output actually see this is uh, this is the output we want okay you can notice this is the output we want okay but we are getting this output we are getting this output and this is the output what, what we want okay so you can notice okay so what we can do if we want if we want this okay like so something we can do here are you getting my point so because you can notice these are okay sometimes what happens that when you okay sometimes what happens that when you have this is an n bit number and this is an n bit number when you add them then the summation then the summation then the summation needs at most n plus one bits okay so you can notice that for example sometimes it will need n bits or sometimes it will need n plus one bits so when you add two n bit number then the summation then the summation can be at most n plus one bits okay so this is the problem here okay when you add these two numbers then the summation needs six bits but the melee machine this melee machine that we have designed this will give this output so this output we will get so what should we do okay we want to get the correct output so what should we do you just, you can think about it okay just think about it what should we do okay the answer is very simple what we can do okay like we are putting this zero zero here we can just put extra zero okay extra zero we can put so basically the solution okay now let me give you the solution solution is very simple that okay what you do just put okay for example this is your a your a is this you can note this is the a and your b is this then the solution is what okay you just to the melee machine when you give this to the melee machine okay so this is your actual data now to the melee machine what you give you give this you give okay to the melee machine what you do you give uh, this one okay so one 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 zero okay just put extra zero just put one extra zero okay nothing else just put this extra zero okay and okay so like this this is what you are going to give to the melee machine this is the input for melee machine i can say okay this is the input for melee machine now you can notice that now the melee machine will give you correct answer okay if you give this input to the melee machine your melee machine is going to give you the correct answer and that is one zero zero one zero one okay so this is the solution okay now you can notice that using finite state machine okay using this machine you can notice okay using this finite state machine this is what we have created so using this finite state machine we can do integer addition okay you can give any number of bits it doesn't matter okay so a finite state machine can be designed to add two integers of any length the answer is yes okay the answer is yes this is it we can design it okay now because in to this machine to this machine what you can do you can give any number you can give any number of any length it doesn't matter okay and the this melee machine will give you output as the addition of those two binary numbers okay 
so this is how we can do okay